So this uh, next song is called One Good Try. And uh, it came out right before the craziness of last year. 2020, y'all, what a ride. So I know, you know, each of us have our own stories and experiences from this past season. Um, Emily and I, uh, we started our 2020 off on an incredible note. On Groundhog's Day of all days, I'm not joking, on Groundhog's Day we found out Emily was carrying our first child. And we were just over the moon excited. Um, it's just such a gift. And so we were so excited, you know, but kind of keeping it to ourselves and just dreaming up this brand new chapter that we were about to walk into. And then a few weeks went by and her and I are down in, 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 in Nashville, Tennessee. And like a few weeks went by after we found out that we were pregnant and a, a tornado just went over our house at 2 a.m. Our sirens didn't go off. So we just were jolted up to what sounded like a train going over our home. And it devastated our community. I think it killed about like 30, 35 people. It was horrible. And it was the first time of last year I really felt like things were so fragile. And, but you know, we spent the next few days kind of helping our community kind of get back up on its feet. And I headed out on tour. I was in Kansas and Iowa. And after a show in Des Moines, at the, uh, we got on the bus and we're driving home. And I was asleep. And I got up the next day. We're not quite home. I was on the bus and I opened up my iPhone and the stock market was crashing and I was like, what's going on? And this whole thing, COVID started to get talked about. And I, you know, was like kind of paying attention to it, but didn't really think too much of it. And, uh, was, you know, that Wednesday was the infamous NBA Tom Hanks Wednesday night. And the next day I was headed out on tour. So the concert was still going. So I was a trooper. So I was in the Uber, head to the airport. We're almost to the airport and get the text, go home. And what, you know, ended up being about three dates canceled initially, ended up to about 165 concerts of last year canceled. You know, I've toured full time now for almost 10 years and just never experienced anything like it. Totally uh, just turned our whole world upside down. It was not anything we were expecting. And then, you know, Jack was born October 15th. Um, it was an incredible day. Em Emily, uh, it was a pretty hard labor. And so we were in the ICU for about four days after. And at the time, you know, our county's having three, 4,000 COVID cases a day. And when I say ICU, they were out of ICUs. It was a closet that they called ICU. And after she was out, then Jack was back in the hospital. So we, it was just us in the ICU for about seven to eight days afterwards. And then we got to go home. And y'all, I knew being a brand new dad, I would be tired, but I had no idea I was going to go home that tired. You know, praise God, Jack and Emily are just doing great today. There's no problems. But that was a lonely kind of hard start. And so when I got home, I don't know about y'all, but I, I was counting down the days to Christmas. Christmas music was on in our house way too early this past year. But we just had this countdown. I just thought, you know, Jack's first Christmas and goodbye 2020. Christmas is going to be amazing. And so, you know, the night before we had like two inches of snow. It was like a white Christmas. That never happens down south. And so it was just wonderful Unfortunately, you know, Christmas Day in, in, in Nashville, we were jolted up to a car bomb going off downtown. And that was what woke us up. And then we were, you know, off the grid, off power for about eight days. I just remember getting out of 2020 saying, what kind of universe are we in? <laughs> it's just such a wild ride. And I tell you what, I've always been a kind of goal-oriented person, always detail-oriented uh, had backup plans for my backup plans and I did not see last year in the cards. And I've always been one, one that likes to think that I'm in control and in charge. But what I learned last year is I am not in control and thank God that I'm not. Cause I have no, uh, ability in comparison to the Lord. And the thing I learned is that God's peace is truly never ending. There were so many nights where things were so uncertain and anxiety and stress was high in our house. And we just trusted God over and over and over. And he saw us through and he continues to, to this day. I, I think, you know, those, those attributes of God, his love and his trust and his peace and his kindness and his consistency. Those are things I had always learned about as a kid. There's just something about really needing to lean on it. That just changed our whole life this past year. And so, you know, that's like our story. I know we can all have our own stories to talk about tonight, but it's amazing that the God who, who was there for us was there for each of you. And I just think that's amazing. And so, you know, 
I will like to act as if, you know, I'm in control and in charge. And it's just a good reminder to just open your hands and just trust the Lord. So I would encourage each of you this evening and whatever you find yourself in tonight, would you just continue to look upon the Lord and trust him?